Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Xbox 360 games on your Steam Deck within SteamOS. From gaming mode, press the Steam button, select power and switch to desktop mode. Download the Xenia Canary emulator from the link in the description of this video. Right click on this file and unzip the contents to a convenient folder such as documents, like I have here. Next, we need to familiarise ourselves with the MUDEC Steam ROM Manager. I will assume that those of you watching already have MUDEC installed on your Steam Deck. If you don't have MUDEC installed, I would recommend installing this before proceeding. Open EmuDeck from the icon on your desktop, and when you see the wizard, choose Tools and Stuff. Next, make sure to select the icon called Steam ROM Manager. We will be prompted to close Steam. Press Yes and wait for the Steam ROM Manager to load. On the left hand side, we want to scroll through the list of emulators and make sure to toggle the Microsoft Xbox 360 Xenia on. You will see on the right hand side, we have many parameters available to us. The only one we want is executable. Scroll down until you find this and select browse. We want to navigate to documents where we placed our Xenia Canary build that we unzipped earlier. Choose the Xenia Canary.exe and press select file. Make sure that you do not forget to press save at the bottom. With the Steam ROM Manager still open, we want to transfer our Xbox 360 backups, rips or dumps to where our EmuDeck ROMs folder is located. If you have EmuDeck installed to the internal drive, we want to navigate to Home, Emulation, ROMs, Xbox 360 and ROMs. We want to place our ISO files for our Xbox 360 games here. Once completed, go back to the Steam ROM Manager and select Preview in the top left. At the bottom, we want to press Generate App List. Wait for the providers to finish finding cover art for our games. Once complete and you're happy, we want to press Save App List. Whenever adding an ISO backup from your Xbox 360 collection to the 360 ROMs folder, you will need to perform the preview and generate app list and save each time so the cover art can be assigned and for the game to be added to Steam Gaming Mode. So now we have added our games, return to Gaming Mode via the desktop. Press the Steam button and navigate to your library. Collections and the Xbox 360 folder. You can see that my backup of Red Dead Redemption has been added. Before launching, it is important to go to the settings, properties, 
and under compatibility, we must assign proton 7.06. You will need to assign this specific proton version to any and all Xbox 360 games that you have added. Otherwise, when you launch, it will not work. Now all of those steps have been completed, let's launch Red Dead Redemption and you will see that the game boots as expected. Before we end the video, I want to discuss a few things regarding running Xbox 360 games on the Steam Deck via SteamOS, currently as of the 25th of March 2023. Please do not expect perfect performance from all games. If you want to have a much higher success rate from playing Xbox 360 games, then I would strongly suggest installing Windows 11 or 10 via dual booting on the internal drive, which I have a tutorial pinned in the description of all of my videos for you to follow. The build I have included in the description, I have simply changed the GPU renderer in the Xenia Canary config.toml file from DX12 to Vulkan alongside providing my patches folder for many Xbox 360 titles which you can manipulate to increase performance in several games. For instance, Red Dead Redemption 1 I have altered the patch file so that you can have the game render in a 360p mode and is then upscaled and has many graphics options disabled such as vegetation, lighting, shadows and provide the ability to have both infinite ammo and horse stamina. If you wish to change any parameters, navigate to Documents, Xenia SteamOS and Patches and open the TOML file for your game. Not all games have patches, so let's take a look at the Red Dead Redemption config file here. If you ever want to have a play around with enabling or disabling any of these patches, simply change the is enabled parameter to true or false, either by copying the word or typing with the Steam keyboard. When you're happy with your changes, save the .toml file and return to gaming mode and then launch the game to see your changes reflected. The testing for 360 games on SteamOS is early, ongoing and experimental. There are many games that will either not boot, display artefacting or run very slow. If you discover a game from your collection which runs very well, 
or doesn't run as well as it should, please drop a comment below so we can all try to build a list of playable and non-playable games. I hope this video has helped you all with installing Xenia onto your Steam Deck on SteamOS. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel to be made aware of new videos when I upload them. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below or join the Deck Wizard Discord server and I will try my best to answer you. Until next time, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.